Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus here again. Today, I want to talk to you on a very special subject matter. One, I call it a message from God to the world. Many of you who don't believe in God, I would say to you then, a message from me to you. Now, I don't readily claim this message as being from me because this is a message that's filled with truth. And I'm like you. We, we're vulnerable. That be, It would be contaminated if it came from me or any of you. Perhaps that's why it has not come. But today it is coming to you. 65 years ago, I was introduced to the spiritual God. 50 years ago, I witnessed and experienced the awesome power of God. A miracle for me and to me. A confirmation of the reality of God. 36 years ago, I accepted the charge for which my miracle saved me for. During these 36 years, I have been in training. I have been taught the message of which I bring. The earth is the creation of the Lord. And all the abilities of the earth. Mankind is the creation of the Lord, including each and all abilities of mankind. In creating mankind, several necessities for survival are common amongst them all, such as food, clothing, shelter, education, health care. The Creator prepared that these necessities remain and that the challenge is met, for in it is life personified. The resources for these necessities are planted within the earth. The ability to extract from the earth has been planted within the human abilities of mankind. A potion in each one of us, a career objective, a call to service that that through these professions of anyone and everyone gives joy and pleasure in knowing what it is you came into the world to do, knowing who you are and about the, bill, the, and about the business of doing it. The Creator designed it that way. And where these gifts are applied, drawn out by the existence of need, Every requirement for continued peaceful, prosperous, and joyous life is made manifest to every human on earth. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Creator's design. And this must be in agreement with the humans by giving them, giving you, giving us choice. No money is required. No violence is required. And the simple guide for such a continued life is know that it is God. Then honor yourselves by doing unto one another as you want done from others or from God. This is the way to peace. This is the way to prosperity. This is the way to joy. This is 
the government of God affirmed by the people and yielding to any other government is bondage. Thus, the settlers had a right to abandon the mother country. The natives had a right to share their country with the settlers. The settlers violated God when they began to take by force land not their own and impose their laws and rules on others. They are 100% against God's way. The natives should have resisted at the extent of victory or death to every native. For them to acquiesce and give up was a sign to the settlers that their faith, false God, reigned supreme. But I say to you, isn't that the conditions of the world today? No government meets the creator's standard, yet they continue to exist by the power of being 100% wrong for this path and 100% wrong for those that accept it. So the message today is that the pain and suffering around the world, you, yesterday and today, wherever someone is hungry, homeless, sick, unproductive, it is the result of refusing to change back to the Creator's path. And to everyone on earth, they are responsible. Responsible for the killing of babies and moms and old folks as a result of human reasoning. <laughs> the overcrowded prisons and crime and violence as a result of human reasoning. But the question becomes, Who's changing this reasoning? Who's saying this conduct has got to stop? Who's saying we as a nation, as nations, are going to have to start being fair with ourselves and with one another? Who's doing this? Is it a political party? A religious community? Oh yes, there are grassroots organizations being what their limited funds are, are many times no funds will allow them to do. So who's speaking out? No one. Because to really stand against something means it must cease or you must cease. Cease of the planet or cease into oblivion. Oblivion. Is what has happened. For the problems are increasing. And who's standing up for the human race without population control? The human race without poison, fluoride, and water, and many other products. Without mercury and medications. All designed to dumb the people. And make it easier to control. Controlled by those Godhead over the human race. Empowered by each and every one that is not against it. You see, until you act like God of love, you are the child of the God you act like. The message today from God to you is that the world is yours. Each and every last one of you, owners of the world. Nobody got anything in this world that belongs to them. How you socialize yourself reflects your respect for God. In respecting God, you would create heaven. At least in that what you control. If others want to do something else, let them. But the love that is generated, the love that is expressed, that 
blossoms like a flower in the midst of anything else would have to spread. This is the love of God. Anything else is nothing but demonic following. And every nation on the planet today is following Satan. And beginning with our nation and all of our allied nations and all of those we call enemy nations and all of those poor nations. Those poor nations, you have suffered the most. You have suffered the most, and if God had to come on the earth right now and make things right, he would begin making it right with you. But you, too, have accepted. It's so, 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 so sad what has happened. It would be better to stand up and face a nation, face the world that would allow you to die head on, led by a spirit that know that you've been done wrong, but by a power bigger than you gives you the ability to stand up so these who allow this to happen to you will know. That's the only way they'll know that they're